Hey guys, what's up? It's Solo, and yes, I'm doing another uh, theory video, except this time it's not a theory video. We're going to be going over the stuff we've been given by Bungie for the next season, because as we know, Bungie's not dropping a trailer before the season uh, until like a few hours before, and we have no story hints, no real season 17 um, 3.0 so class hints so yeah and they're only releasing a trailer like maybe an hour or two before the launch of season 17 so i wanted to go through and go over what we do actually know and i actually had some notes so it might take me a second um so yeah uh before we go over this i do want to say uh spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't played the witch queen or the new season season 16 story yet if you haven't, go play that, then come back to this video uh, because we're going to be talking about that. Uh, I'm going to count down from 5 just to give you guys a second to click out the video. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that was your warning. If, uh, we're going to proceed. Um, so yeah, uh, so the things we know, Sabathun is dead, but her ghost is now MIA. It was taken by the Traveler actually right after she died before we could actually capture it and um i don't know why that was none of us do but it's still an interesting concept that the traveler is protecting sabathun's way of reviving herself uh even after all the stuff she was trying to do in the witch queen uh the next thing is is we know at the end of the witch queen that the witness has basically started a full-scale invasion operation uh, bringing the rest of the ships from a different space into ours and he's coming with what are known as disciples if you guys don't know the definition of disciple for destiny it's basically a species that is either killed or exterminated the rest of its species to become the one prime member of that species and has earned the title of disciple and he's tried to do this i believe we have on record to like four different people now and the only one we've seen is rolk who is in vow of the disciple so very interesting to see where we're gonna go with that uh next one is so this is the big plot point for season 16 which was crow during all of this like us trying to stop hive guardians and sabathun from you know getting more power we saw crow kind of go into another phase of trying to find himself eventually arguing with the likes of saladin lord saladin to the point where crow shut off the mind control device that was letting us go into the mindscape and in doing so he ended up killing a scion which eventually led to uh blood for blood and then Saladin turning into what was known as Brackish, Brackish Forge, sorry, my bad, um, and Brackish Forge eventually turned into Valis Forge because in the lore books, talking about Saladin's adventures after becoming uh, Brackish Forge, he was challenged like six, five, six times in his like first days on the Cabal War Council and earn the title of Valis Forge so that's what he's now referred to as as far as we know um, and then as we know in the ending to season 16 Saladin left something behind for Crow that he deems helpful for Crow and we don't know exactly what this is I think it was the um, I want to say it's a hatchet that has the iron banner or the iron wolves logo but we're not sure. I'm pretty sure it's either that or the um, necklace, I want to say. Uh, it's one of those two. I'm sorry, I'm not exactly familiar with what the item was. Uh, it was kind of a little vague. But yeah, so we're going to see probably more of Crow finding himself in the next season. Uh, the next thing, which is another kind of big plot point, is Rasputin is in an engram right now uh after being saved by anna bray from the darkness where she grabbed whatever she could find of rasputin and is currently trying to get him from an engram into a different body 
and we know this because there's a bunch of different lore bits from armor pieces and lore tabs that are talking about the fact that during the whole Cabal Mindscape thing there was another section for just Anna Bray to work on this body for Rasputin and that's where really we're at she's trying to get some more success with it but that's kind of where we're at and now with all that that's most of the story stuff out of the way that's kind of where we're at with a lot of the story like there's probably little background bits that I haven't noticed or haven't seen about yet um, you know but now we're gonna lead into the things that we know about the sandbox and what are uh, what we see changing so the sandbox is getting an entirely new update for season 17 if you guys want to go check that out go to the this week at Bungie where they start talking about the sandbox changes because it's a lot and trying to get into this video this va video could be like an hour two hours trying to go through all of it um but yeah so it's being um reworked uh with the new sandbox and then uh with this newest one and i'm gonna put some of this detail on screen because it's a little bit easier to go through so solstice of heroes is now just going to be called solstice and it's being reworked with new and improved like challenges and what are known as challenge cards let me actually pull it up real quick um which the challenge cards have two different versions there is a free to play one and a paid one now remember this is just the um challenge cards that you're able to purchase that are um cosmetic only so just keep that in mind um but yeah i will re i will put up screenshots of different things so like the rename uh, here's a screenshot of that where they're talking about the fact that they are going to be working on different challenges and also going to be trying to rework different events as it goes on. Um, so they do say that not all of them are going to get a rework uh, in this year, but they're going to be working on more of them. Uh, they're also coming out with a new... Um, feature which is known as bonfire bash where guardians will be building and soaking what can be described as paracausal bonfires while the enemies of summer fun including taking cabal hive and falling will be attempting to crash the party and extinguish the fires and your mission is to guard the flames wave after wave of incoming enemies we may and then they also talk about the fact that they added floating islands and removed building barriers for maximum maneuverability and so with more so they will be releasing more details on the solstice armor upgrades and bonfire bash uh, as we get closer they also redid the armor so then you only have to do it once to upgrade instead of if you get more than one set um, you have to upgrade and apparently like I, like I said again they're going to give us more details closer to that so here's where we get into the event card so the event card uh, introduces something new where it's basically they talk about like what to do in the event and then they give you things to do in the event to earn rewards and these rewards will be unique to the challenge card now we don't know what these are gonna look like yet we have a vague breakdown which i'll show on screen here um and it's just like this one it says uh hot dog eating champ it's an exotic emote uh you get it instantly when you i'm guessing these are like the bot ones um but yeah and they do have these uh the top four are actually it sounds like ones that are going to be in this kind of summer event uh but yeah right now we are kind of in the dark of what these cards are going to look like we know that there's a paid one a free one there's going to be challenges there are going to be what are known as event tickets which lets you purchase what you want which is interesting and the reason why this is interesting is this is a system we've seen in games like fortnite where they changed the um, battle pass 
to make it so then you can buy whatever cosmetic you want depending on kind of stipulations but I hope they kind of stay away from the complete this page to get to the next page thing um, and just let you buy what you actually want and some of these are just like it says uh, instantly like gotten by unlocking certain things or just bought with tickets so like for example the skateboarding emo is going to be bought with tickets and that also means we're going to be getting uh, more cosmetic rewards for these events and I know a lot of people had you know probably have some issues with the fact that they're making you know cosmetics basically be more paid but in reality honestly I'd pay for them but that's me I love having cosmetics I also love having them bringing in a lot more cosmetics as it is um, so with how this is going I'm hoping uh, that you know it's like the regular solstice stuff is there and then it's added on to it on top to give us even more stuff to mess around with and you know get but yeah and I also want to see how they're going to be editing these new um, cards per event now I don't think they're gonna be on every event yet I'm not sure Sure, I still need to read a little bit more. We're also getting into event, individual event seals and multiple event seals, which is great. And then uh, finally, we do have an Iron Banner rework. Uh, no longer going to have power levels in Iron Banner. It's going to be a little bit more casual. There's a new title, Iron Lord. Thank God they finally made it. Um, there's another title, I believe, that's going to be under that. There's... Iron Banner Armor, which we haven't seen yet. Um, and then Iron Banner only happens two times a week now. Besides that, there's like some sub uh, supplemental stuff that you could go into talking about. But honestly, besides that, that's about it for what we know. Uh, I, and by the way, just to let you guys know, this will be the first video of the week. Just so then I have it out on Monday. Uh, because the season comes out Tuesday. So I wanted to get this out on Monday to change it up a bit. And so the Outriders video will be tomorrow on Tuesday. And I'll also be reacting to the trailer tomorrow on Tuesday as well. So yeah, look forward to that. But anyway guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys did like the video, hit the like button. Comment down below, what are your predictions for Season 17? I've already done mine in a previous video, but it's a lot of just different stuff based on what I've you know I've heard and what I might want to see but anyway if you guys want to you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you never miss a destiny 2 video where we go ahead and talk about things anyway I hope you guys have a good day and a good week I'll see you guys later